MGS in Action – Planning of a Psychosocial Activity In this episode, we will discover the structure of a good psychosocial activity, one that respects the principles of movement, games and sport methodology. Essentials – The characteristics of a psychosocial game Any game or psychosocial activity is characterized by scope, rules, frame and roles. Remember, it is a big difference between the scope of a game or activity, what kids should do, and the objective of the game, what the animator would like the child to learn from the activity. The rules should be explained clearly and simply, and most important, they should be demonstrated in order for the participants to understand them. The frame is the space for the activity, that must be totally safe for kids. In order to ensure participation, variety in the learning process, it is very important that roles are changed regularly. By modifying one of these four elements, scope, rules, roles and frame, the games may be altered in order to become more difficult, more creative or to increase their level of cooperation. In action, three phases of an activity. Any MGS activity assumes three moments. Warming up with a welcome ritual, naming the objectives and a short game to introduce the theme which will be addressed. The main part with exercises, games or creative activities that will make new knowledge and reflection possible, followed in the end with a moment of relaxation, calm breathing and feedback. As well, be aware of the intensity curve during the three phases, starting from calm towards certain intensity and then back to calm. Other than physical activities, the animator is invited to propose different creative activities to the youth in order to stimulate their imagination or to facilitate their self-expression. Any creation is unique and its greatest value is that it allows the youth to better know themselves and express their emotions in a special way. Principles When we organize psychosocial games we respect six important principles. We fix objectives that aim to develop youth's global activities. We include free learning steps. We have elements that facilitate cooperation and integration versus competition and exclusion. Use progression of the activity. Promote active and constant participation of the children in games and feedback. Include variety and creativity in games and we facilitate the youth's imagination. Let's remember the characteristics of the psychosocial game. Any psychosocial game has a scope, rules, roles and a frame. The planning of a psychosocial activity includes three important phases warm-up, main part and relaxation. The six methodological principles, objectives, cooperation, three steps of learning, progression, variety and creativity, active participation.